half a day. Guam has a special 500 year anniversary coming up. In just a few short months, on March 6, 2021, we will be commemorating the, for better or worse, historic event of Magellan's Landing. When the Spanish first came to Guam, they encountered more than 100 sailing canoes just outside the village of Omatan. For hundreds of years, the Spanish that followed Magellan's path marveled at the proas that routinely sailed out swiftly to trade with the larger and clumsier European ships. During those early days of interaction, there were hundreds, if not thousands, of sailing canoes entering and exiting bays, voyaging to other islands, and even more being created in canoe houses. Do you think there are even 50 today in all of Micronesia? Through centuries of colonial rule, war, and disease, our people have suffered massive loss of life, language, culture, and traditional practices, amongst them traditional seafaring and canoe building. In fact, seafaring mastery came so close to extinction around the world that in the 70s in Hawaii, they couldn't find a single master navigator in all of Polynesia to reteach them the lost sacred art. However, here in Micronesia, they did find Grand Master Navigator Papa Maupieri, my grandfather from Satoa Lemia. They learned from him and now the Hukle is famous for circumnavigating the planet on a global voyage. Papa Mao is survived by his children, one of whom is our teacher right here in Marianas, Antonio Piala. It is in the family's honor that we are called the Piala Seafaring Academy. Our immediate goal is to complete our two canoes which we already have in progress, one which is almost finished. Next, we will be practicing and sailing to continue the traditional science of navigating. With your support, we will be ready for the March 2021 500 year reenactment and out on the water outside of Humatsek to show that that eventful day was not the beginning of the end of our seafaring culture and that it is still alive now and for always.